Hi, this is Charles with a quick introduction to Axis and Allies Air Force Miniatures Angel 20 Starter Set. The uh, game comes with six airplanes and uh, the cards that go along with those, along with a bunch of other cards that go with the booster packs. Uh, you, as you can see, there's quite a few cards here, but I've pulled out the ones that are uh, matching the airplanes that are in the game, just to show you. And um, the way the models work is you've got a base here. You can control the altitude by spinning this dial, and it freely rotates on this. So um, you can indicate altitude one, altitude two, three. You can bank left, bank right. So it's really it's got a nice visual effect as far as uh, how it looks on the map. Now there are two maps that come with the game. From what I understand, the uh, booster packs have an extra map too. I don't have any booster packs, but these maps have four inch squares, which kind of make a problem, as you can see, is that the board really isn't that long. So I haven't played a game yet. I'm not sure if that's going to affect it or not, but it looks like the the, the length of the board is 11 hexes or so. And uh, at four inches, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of room for maneuver. Now, with the altitude rules in there, that might change the way I feel about that after I play it a little bit. So uh, the paper maps are not very high quality. Uh, the plexiglass is pretty much a must, in my opinion, as far as using that with this. There's some great player aids on the, the, the Geek. And uh, we could talk about the cards a little bit. Rule book is very easy to understand. A nice color detail. Looking at the card, you can see the, the point value for this card if you're doing point builds on the top right-hand side. The uh, collector edition number on the bottom left-hand side. The speeds at a normal or slow speed is here. You can move two to four hexes and a speed five for a high speed. If you're attacking at a range of one, you hit uh, with six dice, attack at a range of two, four dice, three, two dice. The armor is the number that you're trying to roll over top of with, with hits. So you compare the number of hits that you get against that, and if you go higher than that, you deal one um, part of damage. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. This is the number of hits this plane can take. And these are agility adjusters. And uh, I can't remember what the game exactly calls it, but when you do difficult moves, you have to roll two dice. And you, at slow speed, you try to get a 10 or more. And at high speed, you try to get a 13 or more. And when you do these difficult maneuvers, you roll a 2d6 and you add these numbers for the function that you're doing. So if you're doing a difficult turn, you add five to your die roll and you want to get higher than a 10 to be able to perform that. So if you fail that move, there's consequences as far as typically you move one space forward further than you expected to because uh, you tried to attempt a, a maneuver that you failed. You have ace pilots, poor pilots, and average pilots. And then on the back of the plane card there's uh, some nice details. What year and information like that. You can also see each plane is capable of doing special things. So when you pick your speed, on slow speed, you can turn every space that you move. So you move a space forward, and then you decide if you want to turn one hex. If you're moving at high speed, you have to do it at least every other hex. So you can't do it every hex, but you have to skip a hex before you can move, so um, before you can turn. So a high speed, I could go five hexes. One, two, turn, three, four, turn, five. For slow speed, I could go one, two, I'm sorry, two, three, four, uh, four is the max you can do on that one. So you roll for initiative. Each player rolls for initiative. And the higher initiative goes first. And uh, they move a plane, then your opponent moves a plane, and you go back and forth and, and you do this until all the planes are done moving, and then after you're done moving you go for combat. Now I'm going to do a separate video for combat after I read the rules a little bit more. Again, I haven't played the game, but I wanted to kind of show you the game, show you how it feels and looks and stuff like that, and you know maybe I'll get a chance to play this. But it's looking pretty good so far. I've got a friend of mine that, that plays it, absolutely loves it, talked me into buying the system, and uh, so far I like what I see. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the quick review.
of uh, the base components.